Hello everyone, welcome to Simdark Now Vinyl Plays the Code Vein Network Test. Uh, this was something you had to sign up for, I signed up for like a month or two ago. Because I saw it on Game Inform and they were like, oh, we're looking for people who want to sign up for the network test. And I was like, okay, I'm going to sign up and I'm going to make my name be Sunburned Albino and they're going to recognize that. They'll be like, oh, that's that dude. That's that dude who did the boss ranking to similar games like this. And it totally worked. So now I'm in it. I played this for like an hour and a half yesterday, last night. Uh, the It became available at 8 p.m. last night. And now it's still going around. Hey. And I have to say, like, just to get the early impressions out of the way, dude, this game's super nice. Like, I'm a fan. I enjoy it. It's fun just to, like, run around and kill things, even if you've killed them before. Like, I just very much enjoy it. Also, character creation. Dude, create your own waifu. Who can resist? All right. Uh... Dude, the last character I made was so nice looking, like, I just gotta say. So you can start from, like, these pre uh, prerequisite things, and then you can build off of them. At first I was like, oh, this is all that, you know, no, but no, you can customize, you just go from, like, this preset and then you customize, like, their hair, their clothes, all that stuff. So I'm customizing from this preset because this chick is the most attractive of all the presets. That's why she's the first one, because they know it. They're like, ooh, this one's got the most broad appeal, and that's for a reason. But then you go into advanced settings, you can edit her physique, uh, you can edit her skin color, hair color, face, all that stuff. So let's change her hair a little bit. I want to make like a different one than I made last time. I don't want it to be exactly the same. Ooh, look at that huge hair. That's, that's just impractical. Let's, you know, I mean, a demon's going to grab you by the hair, and you're going to have nothing you can do about it. So let's try some, uh, ooh, this is nice. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. All right, but okay. I used green hair last time. I mean, this hairstyle really seems like it would have like a dark gray texture to it. But you could also go like more blonde or like like a lighter gray. Cause you know, this looks, I mean, she, it doesn't look like Sephiroth hair, but I do get like that sort of vibe from it. So you could go in this direction if you wanted to. Oh, but this is actually perfect. I usually go for like the more vivid colors since it's anime and anime is the only time where like dyeing your hair a weird color actually looks good. And then yeah, you've got the extensions color and then you can change the extension thing so you can see like you know, you can make it more one color or more the other. I like this extension. This this is nice. I'm a fan of what I've done here. That's awesome. Now, what color should your eyes be? Because this is a fantastic eye color. You can skip this part if you want to. If you want to just go to, like, what I'm actually playing. But I am going to take my sweet-ass time here. Kind of. Like, you know, not really. But, all right, pink is a bit bright. But I do like the overall color of that. So you know what? I think that's just fine. I don't get like too into it. I just do all like I care about the hair and the eyes, and that's pretty much it. And the clothes. So if we look at the clothing. Now, some of these outfits is just like, dude, why? Like, if you I'm sorry, there's a pose. Oh, you can make her, ooh, look, oh my god, this, this is like Project Runway, isn't it? Ooh, look at that. I didn't know that last time. View expression, oh, you can get new expressions. Oh, she's smiling in that one. Oh, she's kind of like, oh, what's in front of me in this one? And then in this one, she's like, mm, I know exactly what's in front of me. <laughs> Come here. So let's go back to the other one. Okay. So you've got like this weird whatever the hell this thing is. Dude baggy sleeves with like a construction worker's apron and i don't even i don't know what to make of this this is so many weird things all sequestered together and then this is just like i don't go for like the super revealing stuff because it's like they why are you doing that yeah like what is this what what is this iron bra you've got on what you know why does why are you wearing only the sleeves of a turtleneck and why are there four belts on it I don't understand anime style. It, 
It doesn't make sense to me even a little bit. And it's just like here, okay, this it looks it at least looks kind of normal. Like, oh, I was abducted on my way to goth school, and now I'm here in Code Vein. So, and then this is just like a straight jacket that's been repurposed for BDSM. Um, yeah, we're going to go back to this one. This is the one that I like. So I like the, uh, the black as a base. Black clothes always look nice. So with your eye color, we can change this red into more of like a magenta-ish type of thing. Because magenta is just a fantastic color with black. And it looks really good with bright green also. I've styled a lot of anime girls in my time, okay? I'm just kidding. Alright, so we got our, like, weird little van braces. I don't even know what this, what this is. I couldn't tell you. Let's just make that magenta as well. Because that's gonna look real nice with the rest of the stuff that we make magenta also. So this is gonna be magenta as well, and just look how the outfit comes together now. Magenta is one of the best colors for girls. Like, just 100%. And dudes too, like, dudes can rock this also. Alright, but you don't want this to be magenta, because that's too much. You want that to be black. Or maybe a different color. Maybe you want it to be like the same color as her hair. But no, we'll just go black. So that, this just, this is what I want. This is what everybody wants. I know you approve of this waifu. Thank you. I appreciate your patronage. I'll be making waifus all day long. Now, <laughs> let's, uh... Oh, we can change our purifier mask. Different masks do not expect stats. I, you're gonna wear this when you're out in, like, the field, because I guess there's some kind of weird, I don't know, like viral disease thing. You know what, forget it. That doesn't matter. They're, they're, you'll, you'll pick up other masks anyway. S and then we want, show me the voice. Try again. Yeah, type two is my favorite kind of diabetes. Let's confirm. And remember our name? I mean, my name is, oh, what should your name? My name is Albiness. Hmm. Princess Albino. And then the codename is how you'll appear in multiplayer when somebody, like, summons your character or whatever. I've never done multi- I don't know how multiplayer works in this game. I mean, we'll just go Albiness again. Mm, perfect. Alright, let's do this. You guys ready to actually play this game? Hell yeah. yeah. That's what you look like. Oh yeah, that's what I look like, and you love it. Cruz, whoever you are. Penelope? I don't know. Hey, this is a different tutorial area than last time. It looks different. It's got different uh, colorations and stuff. Okay. Well, I'm also wearing clothes that I didn't pick. So I don't know what the deal with that is. I'm just going to skip the tutorial, because I did it last time, and it's not very entertaining. So I'll just tell you what, like, some of the stuff is. That's great. You keep explaining stuff as I just, you know, hover the fast-forward button over this right now. I am awakening, thank you. So basically what I understand from the story so far is that we're like a revenant. So we've, but it's, you know, it kind of carries some of the same undertones as Dark Souls where it's like you're undead, but like, you know, there's different kinds of undead. There's like the undead that are insane, that are like monstrous. And then there's the ones that still like retain their humanity and whatnot. So we retain our humanity, but we're into blood because we're like revenant vampire, whatever. I don't know, something. But, like, they call it Ecor in this game. But, like, it's blood. And they say blood also. It's blood and it's Ecor. I think they're two different things. I don't know much about blood because I'm not a serial killer. But if you are, I mean, you can chime in in the comments and let me know. How are you feeling? This is one of those games where, like, 
the animation is almost painfully slow. And, like, people talk at snail's pace and spend, like, three minutes staring at shit before they say anything, you know? So it might try your patience a little. Oh my god, my character is the best. I wish you could see my other one. But I didn't save it. I did, well, I didn't save, like, the appearance. Don't worry, it's okay. I don't remember either. Because my other one had, like, green hair, and it was a different style. Same outfit, but different coloration. I was a fan. Over there. I mean, who among you is not going to make a waifu out of this game? I am a dude, but like, take, come on, take your opportunities. I don't know, some of you might make men, because it's like, oh, I am this man. And like, that's why you make dude characters if you're a dude. You're like, I want to be this dude. But if you make a female character as a dude, you're like, I want to marry this woman. And I want her to succeed on my behalf. So yeah, we've had quite a night. Uh, it was, you know, just a real rough night. Lots of drinks at the bar. Some dude came on to me. I had to knock his ass out because he was being super creepy about it. I had to Captain Marvel that situation. And then have people cheer me on as an extremely fantastic role model for little girls. Let's see, a yeah, bad night. But we awaken as a revenant. Yeah, I mean, now that they've seen my character, there who can blame them? That will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. You know, there's like a blood shortage in this game. That's what they said, anyway. Because these trees are supposed to be like springs that make blood beads, which are like these little pear-shaped fruits that just have blood in them. You just take them and drink them. And I'm just thinking, there's a lot of chicks in this game, like, why don't people just kind of, like, monetize their periods? And I think it would save a lot of heartache. Oh yeah, just to eat my, you know, I'm having a seizure, but you can just, like, eat my hand real quick while I'm busy. It's fine. I give you permission. Yeah, dude. Are revenants like vampires? I mean, they're not the same thing, but like, are they kind of the same thing? Just in terms of the fact that they both eat, drink blood and stuff. I'm like pretty well versed on supernatural stuff from the show Supernatural, but revenants are outside my area of expertise. And there's a blood bead. I call them beads. They're a little bigger than beads, aren't they? Here. This is for you. Yeah, see like you see how slow they talk, and then they just kind of hang on every word, and then your character has to like process what they've said for fifteen seconds before they say anything? Or anybody. Ooh, wow, this is uh this is taking a turn. Mm. <laughs> a new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. Look at her. Look at her tilt around like. See, she does that. And then you think she's about to go absolutely insane on these dudes and just straight up murder them. But no, we're actually just captured into this prison now. Yeah, 
Like, I'm not sure what this woman's deal is yet. She's kind of, like, delirious a little. Like, I really thought she was harboring some kind of insane power. And I thought that they would, like, show it off there. But I guess not. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten what masks? Those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know. But first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. Okay. I, I have to say no to this running animation. This, this is one of the only problems I have with this game. Is that this looks so dumb. Like, tell me it... Like... I don't know. I don't know. Like, just look at it. Like, doesn't it feel off to you? Alright, you're gonna wait for me, bucko. You guys are on my time. <laughs> yes, apparently. Yeah, the lost are like the crazy revenants. Mindless, so, blood-hungry beasts. Uh, what is a revenant? I actually didn't ask like most of these questions. So I should. The human that died but got kicked away again. That's what you are. A revenant. Indeed. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. Well, that's gross. What's the this place? The folks up there. It's a place Laborers who gather blood beads. All right. Slave pen, sure. Gotcha. What have I forgotten? See, they're really upfront about the whole like resurrection thing. Well, your case is a little rare, I guess. Yeah, I've forgotten everything, so. The lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, they turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back. Okay, and what is this mask? This place is something Speeds up the bloodthirst. Okay, that's what I was wondering. The mask helps filter it out. Missile purifies the air nearby, but it's been drying up lately. Just like the blood. Be careful where you take off your mask. And tell me about Mistle real quick. Purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's worthless. Even if it withers, it can be brought back. Yeah, Queen's blood. Ooh, there's. Oh, does that mean I'm a descendant of the Queen? Because the deal with this is that, like, I, you know, we're always special, right? So, our blood makes the the trees come back. These guys are all just, like, weird. They have one line of dialogue, and that's it. So, our blood makes the trees come back because we're special. And, so, yeah, does that mean we're a descendant of the queen? I feel like the plot can be fine. Like, I don't... Like, this is, this is all set up to have a good story and, like, an interesting narrative and all that. So, you know, it doesn't seem, like, threadbare or basic or anything. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. Hell yeah. <laughs> All dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah. Don't worry, we'll get to combat in like a couple so minutes here. No sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's You know what these are, right? Blood beads. Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come. God, look how awesome head. my character looks! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I'm afraid we can't get over it. Blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. 
Why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I right. suggest there's a lot of exposition that doesn't make sense yet. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. Oh, what? I could demolish them. Next. These guys ain't nothing. Blow there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Yeah, yeah, lots of stuff we don't know what it means, but that's fine. And here we go, fellas. You heard him. It's about to happen. Now that's just extremely rude. Especially if you look up and know how far they've just fallen. How far they've just fallen. Excuse me. Look at that. You should be dead. That's like three stories. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins. Nice to meet you. He doesn't have a British accent, but if your name's Oliver Collins, you should have a British accent. Alright, so we have shit weapons made from, like, r rubble. We're gonna have to fix that. Now, okay, so here's the deal... Everybody, everybody wants to be like, oh, well, how is this game like Souls? How is it not like Souls? So, you've got your resting at the mistal things. These are your bonfires. I'm going to rest here where you can do level up with all the uh, the haze you get, which is like Souls. And you can also acquire and inherit gifts from the different types of uh, codes. F fighter codes. Blood codes. Blood codes. Is that what they're called? Something like that. Yeah, it's a blood code, for sure. So you can, like, here's the thing. It's like Persona, where it's like, you know, you have, like, your one thing that you're supposed to have, but like, oh, but you're special, so you can do all of them. So we have a blood code, sure. and we can change the blood code at any time. We could be a caster type, we could be a ranger type, we could be a fighter type. I was a caster type in my other playthrough, and that was working out pretty well. Like, the spell, a couple of, like, we only had access to, like, one spell at first, and then, like, you can acquire more by just like getting more uh, uh, acquainted with your blood code so like i want to try something different though and try like i don't know just try like fighter i guess now now nah, let's do caster again i just i just like it and i mean you can switch at any time too like you can switch between them and like sort of build them all up individually and then you get more skills that way that you can use regardless of which blood code you have equipped so that's cool so we have gifts in this slot this restorative offering you can heal your co-op partner this the bloodshot is like your basic sort of spell and you use that by holding r2 and then you can press triangle and you see we got two of those stocked up here uh, but you get more than that the number that's right next to the r2 button in the bottom right that's how much like e core you have that's how much, and that's spent by using your gifts. So, like, we have 16 out of 30. And the two, okay, yeah, I was I was mistaken. The two from this bloodshot means that I will use two e-cores from my 16 out of 30 to use it. So let's find a dude. But first, this game's got backstabs. Oh, yeah. Insta-death. He did. He did in one backstab. And also, you can see the number. Not only did we get more E-Core from that, we got more maximum E-Core from that. So we can hold more. So you do more, like, gifts and spells and stuff, and that's extremely good. Alright, so, like, if I use E-Core, look, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Eat it! Kill yourself with my attack! Oh, it's good. Now, we gotta find a replacement weapon ASAP, because this little pipe's not doing it. It does, like, 50 damage or something. If I look at... Physical, 37 damage. This hammer does 6, because I can't wield it. <laughs> but if I could, it would be, like, more than that, I assume. 61. A little more than 61. But we'll find real weapons. 
and it'll be great. It'll be a great time. I just really like running around and killing things in this game. It's like Sekiro in that way for me, because Sekiro was like, I loved killing the base enemies, but I hated fighting bosses. This game is like kind of the same, except I don't hate fighting bosses in this game either. I've only fought one. Interesting. That's my parry. Blood Veil, Queen Slayer, Claw. Is this what determines my parries? Oh, these are the different kinds of parry bolts. Because I had this one right here at the end of my last thing, and I don't know why. I didn't understand why it was that. Okay, so depending on the thing. Alright. But yeah, you can parry this in this game. And depending on the one that you have, it'll be different. So our parry right now is this claw thing. Which is very, like, you know, like, timing-based. I had this, I got this other parry thing that was just, like, you could just hold it out and it would auto-parry. With, like, no cost. And I was like, that's insane. <laughs> but it was super fun. Yes. But yeah, I like the versatility of being able to switch. So like, okay, so we've done that. Now let me switch to the fighter one. So you can just switch that easily and then switch your weapon to this heavy axe that I can now wield because I'm a fighter. And it does, was, did that say 302 damage? This does 302 damage. Oh, it's over. It's fucking over, dude. Now they've replaced your... Uh, Bloodshot with this new triangle thing and like the fighter based gifts. So this triangle one ups your attack Temporarily But like I don't need that cuz you're dead in two hits You're dead in two hits oh. It's so good. This game is so much fun. I love it. Like I really do Can't emphasize that enough. So you've got your square attacks your light attacks, right? Then you've got your heavy triangle attacks and you can see the stamina above my health, too. It's that little bar that's going up. And it refills pretty quickly and seems pretty uh, forgiving. You know, you do like four attacks with the axe and then you gotta take a break. Queen Iron, I don't know what that does. Needle of Utility, I don't know what either of those things do. I believe my f five thing on the left here is like my triple attack. So if I do R2 square, I'll do a special like combo hit. I wanna try that. Cause my last thing I just did caster and I didn't switch. Uh, yeah, that's gonna murder pretty much anybody that comes into contact with it. Now you see after I use it, it has a little cooldown period. You see it filling up there. But it's, it's a small cooldown. So it just means you can't spam it. Which is fine. You know, I don't know if you paid attention to the cooldown on the bloodshot. That was like a three second cooldown. Hey, guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> what is that shield for? You sure didn't lose it or use it properly. And then yeah, you can roll. Ow. Oh, well I tried to do a backstab there. Damn you. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a... Th uh, the, the holding triangle is a three hitter, too? That's amazing. Alright. On the left, you can see that I have my healing. I press the down directional button. And I heal almost half my health. And now I got two more of those. We got a lost Bardiche. That's another kind of weapon. The Bardiche is a nice weapon. I was using that on my other one. It's like a polearm. It's like you've got like sort of this action going. And you can wield this in your caster form too. So that was really nice. Ah, oh, damn it, I pressed the wrong button. I tried to switch. And I accidentally healed myself by accident. I accidentally, accidentally healed myself. And now we got a lost bayonet, which if you're gonna use the ranger class, that's the one you would use apparently. So let's try the ranger. 
we switch that around. Now, which weapons? I can I can still use the axe, huh? Okay. But you can see that it does less damage now because we switched codes. So the codes affect your stats also. We were doing over 300 before, now we're doing 272. But if we switch to this bayonet, we'll do even less. But you can also see the mobility in the bottom left. Slow for the axe, quick with the bayonet. So that can make a difference. And we can wield the axe, but our uh, weight has gone down by switching as well, like our, our carrying capacity. So if we switch to the bayonet here... We are now underway, and look at this. Look at that. We've got a new sort of, like, dash there, which is cool. I'm not sure about invincibility frames. I feel like there was. I think I've been able to, like, make use of them. Alright. And our gift has switched again, now that we're a ranger. And we can, like, take a look at that in here. So this is shifting hollow. What does this do? It's an active cooldown 0.5. I don't know what it does. Oh, oh, that's dash forward and miss form. So just by having that, we automatically do it when we dash. Just kidding, that's what that is. It's different. I mean, that just looks cool. I'm not sure the utility of it, as opposed to just like a regular roll that has invincibility frames, but definitely looks nice. Okay, so our triangle heavy attack is a bullet. And it costs Ikor to use. And it doesn't do that much damage. So, I don't know. I'm Ranger might be like one of the worst ones. Just to start with. Wow, fantastic job there. Alright, we have no Acor. So the way you get Acor back is just by doing regular attacks, and also by draining enemies. You can drain them during combos by pressing R1 and X. And also backstabs are drains as well, and so are parries. Which way do you think is better? Alright, so we purify this mistle. And you can see that we've now mapped this area. So prior to having a mapped area, the you the top right thing will just follow like where you're going, and you can use that to see where you've been. Is there something good in there? But then you have to actually map a thing. Okay, so Queen Slayer Thorn. Does this change my pick? First of all, okay, I still have the claw. It is based on what I wear, I think. But if we switch to Queen Slayer Thorn. Which does give me this. This is my new parry now. Look at that. And you see how long it stays out? As long as it's out, if anybody attacks, you'll you'll be fine. Like, it's super generous. But that's only if it's out. Yeah, like, you don't want to time it to where you don't do it early enough. Because otherwise you get messed up. Alright, and then you dash by holding R1, which is a little different. Like, it's not by holding circle. But we can rest here now. And let's go to inquire and inherit gifts. So by using our gifts, you can see that our uh, proficiency in them has sort of, like we're halfway on this one. And then when the proficiency is mastered, that's when you can use the gift no matter what code you have. I want Blazing Roar. I have now acquired Blazing Roar, which costed me some haze. But if I want to use Blazing Roar, I have to be in caster form, for now. Until we master the proficiency, then I can use it whenever. So I want Blazing Roar, which means I want to be a caster again. So we do that. Then I can equip Blazing Roar. It's going to be R2 square. 
And then because of that, our weapon one is our lost Bardish. So let's switch back to that. Oh, and we can also level up too. So I should do that. And yes, this makes the enemies respawn. You know how it goes. Oh, I don't have enough haze to level up. Hmm. I've leveled up like five times in my other profile, and it really only upgrades health and stamina. Like, you don't, you don't choose a stat to level up. You just level up, and then, like, it upgrades what it's going to upgrade. Also, yes, you can fall in this game. Is there something good in there? I fell in the last one because I just, like, wandered off and didn't really... I thought there would be... Because this looks like a game where there would be invisible walls, but it's not. It's, you know, it's like a Souls game or whatever. Alright, you ready for this backstab? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, it just feels so good. Alright, next dude that comes up, I'm going to parry him and you can see. That's right, R1 is dash. Takes a little getting used to. I'm not gonna say it's bad though. Like, it makes sense. Oh, you can't parry bosses. Familiar? Well, you can, but like, it just stops their attack. It doesn't actually Are you okay? Did you get hurt? give you an opening. That was one of the dudes that went down before us. <laughs> that could have gone better. And now we've broken this dude's mask, which means he's gonna succumb to the miasma if bit. something isn't done here. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. Yeah. Okay, Kirito. Whatever you say. Whatever you, you say. Same voice actor as Kirito. Beats, all right. That girl is waiting for you. From Sword Art Online. Which makes sense. This is the same kind of deal a little bit. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, here we go. I will parry you to within an inch of your life. Come here. Well, you're supposed to hit it. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, can you do this properly, please? Alright, can you do this properly, please? Come on now. Are you kidding me right now? There it is. Okay, never mind about the window, I guess. It at least seemed like at one time, and I was getting pretty easy parries. But now I can't parry to save my life. Okay. Commentator's curse. Whatever. Ow. Oh, yeah, right with that. You get out of here. I'm pressing L2. It's not fast enough. Ha. Huh. And of course my co-op partner decides to die right here, like just like, oh, you go on without me. So annoying. I was trying. All right. When you die, people restart their dialogue, but it doesn't mean you lose items or anything. You'll lose your haze. You gotta go pick up your dropped haze now. Hey, I died. I did worse than you a little bit, actually. It's very unfortunate. Okay, watch this perfect parry. I gotta, you know, reclaim my honor here. You did it so... That's such... There you go. Yep, got my plus two E-Core for that. Alright, let's be trying this again. You have to walk up to them or else they hear you, which is annoying. I definitely prefer this. Alright, 
Yeah, he staggers after two hits from this Bardish. Then we got Lost Shard, which is basically like your, you know, soul of an unknown, whatever. You pop those and you get extra haze. Eat it. Eat my fire. Oh, and eat my parry as well. Okay, we mastered the gift Bloodshot. So I can use Bloodshot on any class now. But I want to... I'm going to switch classes again. But I want to master Blood uh, Roar first. And we're pretty close. Blazing Roar, that's what it is. We've done it more than halfway. You can spend Haze to like upgrade it faster if you want to. But I'd rather keep that for level ups. Although, maybe in this game, level ups are a bit less important. Okay, I don't want to jump down there. We'll just go around the regular way. Should probably heal while we're going. Oh, God! Ooh, fantastic. Ooh, no, no, this is all, this is all terrible. You really expect that to be like, where are you guys all coming from? You really expect that Blazing Roar to be an AoE, but it's not. But it does so much damage that it's like, I can't even be that mad, I guess. Okay, that did damage to me, but it didn't interrupt my attack. You can, like, circle around enemies and get backstabs for free, too. I just haven't been doing that. It seems kind of finicky, the positioning you have to be in. But, you know, we'll get it with this dude. It's hard to know, like, the range you can do it, either. Alright, there we go. Backstab on you! Wow. Don't miss! Yeah. If you guard, you take damage. But obviously not as much damage as if you didn't guard, right? Still, dodging's probably the better option. Plunging attack! Plunging attacks work kind of like Neo. Where, like, you have to run off and be in midair and then press the button and then it'll, like, turn into a plunging attack. Which is fine. Ooh, we got a mistle over here to say that. Or to checkpoint at. Local pennant. I don't know what a lot of these uh, things do. Like, even if I look in my inventory, it's not immediately clear. Use to cause your body to disperse. But all haze will be lost. Oh, so this is just like... I'm not going to claim to understand everything, but... You know, I got 2100 uh, stuff. It's time to level up and get some HP. I can level up twice. And that will increase my health by like 50-ish, and my stamina by 2. Ooh, that stamina by 2 is so good, right? Alright, so... We're level 3 now. Now, I'm just curious about something. If I switch to, like, fighter now, and then I come over here and try and level up. The, the codes themselves don't have their own levels, do they? No, they do not. Alright. Which is good. I think that's how it should be. Alright, let's get back to caster. Because I gotta kill this dude. Because if I kill this dude, I get a map. Okay, and you can be knocked off pretty easily here. 
Kind of like that. I mean, he just twisted and turned and ended up right behind me. That was not cool at all. Don't worry, this time was going to be much different. Oh, I knocked him out! Okay, you can knock him off a little bit. That's cool. Didn't manage to do that last time. What do we have here? Blue Hounds. Okay, we have another dress, which means we have another parry. And this is highly resistant to status effects, and I don't know. Alright, our drain attack is now going to be a slash. Just like the Queen Slayer Claw, which means I wonder if it's the same one then. Alright, if we switch this and I press L2. Oh, look at... Look at that now. Okay, I want to try that out for a while. Dude, why do you even wear a jacket if you're not going to put your sleeves in it? What is this? I'll have you know I invented that style. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello. Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment, too. I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together? Don't worry. I'm not going to stab you in the back. My asthma and the lost here are enough trouble. Thanks All right, let's go together. To work with you. We just got a free co-op partner. The co-op mechanics work well in this. Sometimes it seems like it trivializes some sections just because this dude's like... Maybe it's this dude specifically, but I think it's just co-op partners in general, but like... As soon as an enemy appears, they run over and attack him. Like, even if it's kind of a surprise thing, like if one of the goos dropped from the ceiling, this dude would, like, hit him before he even hit the ground. And he does, like, you know, like the same amount of damage as you do, so it's not like he's useless. He, you know, he's not Atreus from God of War, let's say that. Don't you mean Atreus? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Literally doesn't matter. I just say what I want to say. Alright, get ready to get parried, son. Get parried, son. Ready to get parried, son? Oh, that was so good! Oh, this, oh, oh. That's real nice. The other thing that's cool about this game is that when enemies are getting back up, they're not invincible. Some Souls games have done that, right? Where, like, you know, you get a parry on an enemy or a backstab, and then as they get up, you can't hit them anymore until they're, like, in their fully standing state. Not the case in this game, which is great. Uh, yeah. And yes, this dude can attack through walls. And it's kind of insane. Eat my fire. Good for a nice little quick stagger there. Ow. Hey, co-op partner, where are you? Is your regeneration level all right? All right, had to regen there. And then he asked me, is your regeneration level all right? Oh, yeah, it's just fine. You know, if you want to give me more regeneration, like, I'll take it. But nope. Did you pick up something we can use? Got some more lost shards. I've got a well-worn tool. Don't know what that's for. I don't know if you can upgrade weapons in this game. Like, you can get multiples of the same weapon. But I don't know if you can make these ones stronger. I would think that you could. Probably just not in, like, this tutorial area. I mean, who am I going to take this weapon to? I'm still a part of, like, a slave trade or whatever. Alright, okay, you can combo heavy attacks into light attacks, that's nice. Like a triangle, good old triangle square, that's good. I don't know, like I like this parry, but the jacket's defenses are terrible. It makes you a little more resistant to stun, inhibit, and slow, if you look on the right. It does improve my defenses. So this is more of a defensive coat. 
Oh, and it increases my light gifts uh, and decreases my dark ones. But all my gifts are dark, is the only thing. Are they not? Attack type, crush, non-physical, fire. Or maybe this is fire, so it's not light or dark. Oh no, this is the dark tree, it says. Yeah, bloodshot, blazing roar, but restorative offering is light. In which case, I shouldn't be using this, because it's making my gifts weaker. Yeah, the Queenslayer Claw makes my gifts a lot better. But I don't like the parry as much. Ah. It's all about them gifts anyway. Damn it, now I just have my wimpy-ass claw. Doesn't look cool at all, man. I turned off the cinematic trailer thing. Uh, because if you get a parry or like a backstab, there's usually, it, it does this little cutscene where it's like, huh, and then it like zooms in on your face and then you're doing the attack, you know? But that gets annoying after a while and it takes too long. Rather just get my regular backstabs, you know? But yeah, I'll probably play this up until the first boss. Up until I beat the first boss. Which is pretty close to here. We'll probably see it in the next like 10 or 15 minutes. Could that really be? Hell yeah. We revived this blood spring and now we got a bead out of it. We got a single bead to take back to our captors or whatever. Now I didn't beat the boss on my other one. I only played, uh, fought against him once, and I died when he was at, like, 15% health. It was very tragic. But I'll tell you, letting your co-op partner take all the aggro while you just shoot spells at him, that it, it's worked in every game, and it works in this one, too. Did we... Did we inherit this one already? Seems like we did. So I can actually change now. Increase maximum HP, that's passive. Temporarily boosts attack power. And we get that triple annihilator, which is so cool. Required stats, willpower B. Okay, so you need required stats for some of these gifts. And so then if you switch blood codes, it may be that your stats will go down. Okay, so my willpower with this is B plus in caster mode. It goes down to D plus in fighter mode. So we wouldn't be able to use bl even bloodshot in fighter mode then because we don't have the willpower. But we could use bloodshot in the ranger mode, but the ranger mode sucks, so I don't want to do that. You know what? Just keep caster. Could you fill me in on the details later? I don't know. I don't know if there are ways to influence your skills and stats outside of just whatever blood code you have. And there's gonna be more of them, of course. More than just, like, fighter, ranger, caster. At least that's what they say. I mean, functionally, this just turned into my last playthrough, play but with a different hot-looking chick. Queenslayer Blade... Let's get rid of the bayonet for something. Queenslayer Greatsword. Have to be a fighter for that, of course. Lost Broadsword. Queenslayer Blade. 157 versus the Broadsword. Well, what, is, what good is the blade for, then? It weighs a little less than the Broadsword. It has worse scaling. And worse damage. can't imagine what it would be good for. I'll just keep my, uh... Nah, I mean, we've been using the Bardiche the whole time. Let's switch to the blade. Well, there you go. Even though the broadsword seems better, so let's actually switch to the broadsword. Oh, it's a little slower, you can tell. 
Okay, mobility normal versus, well, still normal, but the weight. There's still slash pierce. There's, there's a difference, but it's just like, I don't know, like they're the exact same kind of weapon, and yet they wield a little differently. Let's just go with the blade. See that dude up there? Isn't he fun? Eat it! Oh, so good. Venom cartridge. Alright, so we could apply poison to our weapon. Or venom. Yeah. I mean, you know, sword works like a sword works. You just get those rapid flurry attacks and it's good. I really am a fan of the Bardish, though. Pole arms in general are usually some of my favorites in, like, these kind of games. Although I can get behind a heavy-ass hammer or axe, too. Or a great sword. I do love strength weapons. But I like balanced ones, too. And I like fast ones, too. I like all kinds of weapons. What do you want me to say? I'm a jack-of-all-offs. So, I don't know what we just picked up. I don't know what that does. Send a distress signal, search for distress signals. So you could, like, join another person's world as their co-op partner in place of their NPC co-op partner, I assume? I've never tried multiplayer, so I don't know exactly how it works, but I assume it works like that. Oh, but look who's behind us! Trying to parry him. Yes! There it is. Oh wow, just knocked him right up in the air. I like it. Is your regeneration level all right? This uh no, my regeneration level is not good at all. Now don't fall down here, because this is literally the very beginning of the game again. I made the mistake of that last time. Although it was still kind of fun, because it's just fun to run around and kill enemies in this game. Like, I didn't mind it at all. It was just like, oh, right, I'll kill a bunch more dudes again. Oh, God. You know, raise my uh, haze level. Level up some, feel good about it. Like, I don't know what it is about this game, man. It's just a ton of fun. And I, I don't know if it's much different than it was like how it used to be before they delayed it. Because people who got early access to this game way back in the day, like a year ago or whatever, I guess complained that it felt too slow or something. But like, it feels good to me now. I have 2060. Okay, we gotta go back because the boss is right up there. And I need more regeneration and I need to level up again. So if you just excuse me. Off. You can teleport this from Mistal to Mistal, which is nice. It means I might want to just, like, come down here and find it again. Which sounds really fun, so let's do that. BAM! Oh, yes. Ah, damn. Please turn. Okay, so when you switch targets, it doesn't turn very well. Like, your character's still facing the direction she's facing, and it doesn't, like, automatically change that. Alright, I'll try not to fall then, you idiot. What kind of person do you think I am? Like, this is just a grand old time. And it's like, yeah, you use Bloodshot on one enemy to do a bunch of damage, then just melee attack the next enemy, you got your E-Core right back. You know, just man, look, back up to 32, right straight away. What's that? Not we have the same weapon. Uh, yours looks a little different. It's 
just good, man. It's just good. Oh, and you can combo with the spells too. That's nice. That's, quite valuable. That's important. Use it well. Never occurred to me before. But yeah, it's not like your thing stops and then you... Yeah, look at that. That's really nice. Thank you. Make it through with what you have left. Damn, thanks for the regeneration tips, person who... lost a third of his health already. Okay, so we rest here. We've got our 3,000 haze. Should be good for... Yeah, we're level 6 now. It's going to increase our health by another 60 points. Get some stamina out of it. You can see that it improves our gift stat a little... Like, the tiniest bit. And it doesn't appear to improve our strength, dexterity, mind, willpower, vitality, or fortitude at all. So I don't know. I mean, maybe this is just a simplified version for the network test. I couldn't tell you. Also, you can start the tutorial at any time, I suppose. Oh, now that we're here, we gotta teleport to the other one. Back to the depths. Enemies will be back, but we'll be better prepared this time, and I won't take very much damage. We'll be just fine. And it's nice that you can farm... Like, imagine in Dark Souls if you could farm your spell uses just by defeating enemies. Like, you'd be so much more inclined to use all your good spells. So, like, I can use my Blaze thing on the way to the boss, and I don't even feel the need to conserve it, because I can just get everything that's required to spend it right back from meleeing the next enemy. It's an extremely nice system for making it so that you don't feel too good to use Syndrome with all your best attacks. Like, that's real nice. Look at you. Look at you. you. You get your ass down here. Well, this dude not even moving. Okay, our cooldown still hadn't finished yet. And then slight cooldown on this, just so you can't spam it. But you still get it pretty fast. Instant kill on you, love it. Alright, let's melee this one. I'm gonna try my Ecor Drain as a combo, I keep forgetting that's a thing. Okay, well, I missed. It seems to be like a guaranteed plus one if it hits. Whereas regular attacks hit, like, every third hit gives you plus one. I don't know if you can combo multiple blood drains, though. Alright, let's go fight this boss. Good. It's light from the surface. Oh, we know who this is. Someone is lost. Had to see that coming, right? Cast aside your doubt. Oh yeah, here we go, fellas. I wanna see if I can parry you while you're in human form. Okay, well that was shitty. Come on. 
Ooh, I got him, but it was... Okay, it didn't give me anything then. So even in human form, you can't get criticals on bosses? Well, I guess there's no, like, Father Gascoin type of cheese in anything yet. Alright, watch out, because his attacks swing, like, the full length. Oh, here we go. Oh, he big boy now. He big, 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 big boy. Whoa there. See, that was some nice invincibility frames there. But yeah, if you're a caster, you just kind of hang out here. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Invincibility frames for sure. That was good. Alright, that felt nice. So now our blue aura is focus mode, but I'm not... It makes you more likely to stagger enemies and less likely to be staggered. That's what it says on the tin. Of course, I'm not sure how good our stagger resistance will be against an enemy like this, so... Ooh, and we got his weapon, too. Juggernaut Sledgehammer. Okay, I've never seen this. First time I've beaten this boss. She's all right. By the way, both of you, all revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. So Oliver Collins is talking through the crystal? Someone has to be sacrificed. I mean, you know I'm gonna touch the stone. This is already a given. What are you? Let go! It'll swallow you up! It's alright. You can do it. Yep, we're special, like always. Okay, we purified the thing, it looks like. What the hell? It's creating light. Dude, is this gonna bring this dude back? What's going on here? Let's keep it going. Please let us keep them just this once. We won't make it if you take them. Oh, we're seeing his memories. Sorry. Daddy. Oh, we're going way back. Uh, where would you like me to go now? Oh, okay. The few humans that remain are under Silver's control. Wandering revenants like us, forced to hunt for blood beads, face death. Even if some revenants must be sacrificed for our survival. Hello, my name's Oliver Collins. How are you? Well, that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. Oh, don't worry about me. My mask came off in the miasma. No big deal. I won't turn into the lost. You'll see me in like 25 minutes and I'll be totally healthy. 
Hello. This is a memory echo. It's a place come. Let's move on. Okay. What do you have to say? Is this the past of Red Lost? Oh, there is a way. Okay, we look kind of dumb when we walk upstairs, but... Just because of, like, the clipping and all that. But it's fine. When a revenant is first revived, or upon receiving a fatal energy that result injury that results in dispersal. However, all most revenants are unaware that they have lost any memory. Well, yeah, wouldn't most people? If you lose a small memory, you're not going to know that you've lost it. Unless another memory sort of reaches out and touches it, you know? It's like chain of memories. It was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it, too. We both melted into you. Mmm, sexy. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. We're already resting. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. Isn't that interesting? Berserk, oh, new Berserker code. Features high strength and endurance. Low e core stock can be offset with heavy armor. Quite a new blood code, okay. So this will be a great, like, sort of stagger free, just do a bunch of damage, super heavy weapon stuff. I like that. Uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this. Like, I'm gonna play it some more, but this is all I'm gonna show you guys. Hour and 12 minute video already. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you like, share, and subscribe. Why not? Look out for Code Vein when it ever, whenever it releases. It's going to be really good. I like this. Like, I'm really excited for it now. It's turned out to be very great. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did uh, all that stuff. And I will see you guys next time.